Today we're going to do a product review of the Mira Safety CM6M gas mask. This is a military grade gas mask that offers true CBRN protection. It has a lot of features with it, an integrated speech diaphragm, integrated drinking system and more. It costs around $220 and we're just going to get right down to it. There's a lot to cover in this video. As always, we're going to do an overview of all the features. We'll do some demo scenarios and talk about the pros and cons. So let's get started now with this video featuring the Mira Safety CM6M gas mask. The Mira Safety CM6M is a true CBRN mask. That stands for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. It meets European standards for respirators. It's compliant under EN 136 1998 CL3 standards for respiratory protective devices. It's used internationally for industry and by government agencies in a variety of countries, the Czech Republic, Turkey, South Africa, Romania, Kazakhstan, Lithuania, Latvia, Pakistan, Ukraine, Switzerland, Germany, Poland. There's a whole bunch of countries. It can be used by police, rescue squads, fire departments, welding, construction, painting, military, and more, and it has a very long shelf life of 20 years. Let's do a rundown of all the features of the CM6M gas mask, starting off first with the visor. It's a very large visor with a wide field of view, but it still has a very low profile, which is nice, and it's also impact resistant, which we'll be testing out later in this video. The seal of the mask is made from butyl rubber. It's a synthetic rubber that's impermeable to air and is used in many applications requiring an airtight rubber. It also meets the material standards for CBRN protection. Butyl rubber is one of the most robust elastomers when subjected to chemical warfare agents and decontamination materials. It is a harder and less porous material than other elastomers such as natural rubber or silicone, but still has enough elasticity to form an airtight seal. As always, seals are very dependent on facial hair as all masks are, so it works better with a clean shave. Next, let's go over the silicone inner mask. It comes standard with a speech diaphragm with this gas mask, which is really nice. Most other gas masks don't. You could actually talk with this mask on, which is a big plus, and it also helps prevent fogging and is hypoallergenic. Let's go over the straps. It has five point straps for ensuring a snug fit. It's made of a stretchy material for the straps, which is really nice. And it also features a hairnet in the middle of the straps to help contain hair and keep it out of the way. It's a very comfortable fit when wearing this mask. It fits up to two standard 40 millimeter NATO filter cartridges, which are widely available for variant protection levels. When using two filters, it allows for longer usage without having to change, and it also makes it easier to breathe. We previously reviewed the Mestel SGE 403, which actually supports three filters, although that center filter location is a little awkward to wear. So the two filters for the mirror safety is just fine with me. Let's go into details now regarding the Mira Safety NBC 77 SOF gas mask filters. They have a very long shelf life of 20 years. Most other filters only have a shelf life of around six years. They're a bit more expensive at $80 each, but in the long run, the extra expense pays for itself as the average filter price is around $50 and over the course of 20 years, it would cost $160 and up to swap out when expired. I especially like how well they're wrapped when new. It's a very tight vacuum seal. It contains a reactor element which filters out radioactive iodine. Most filters on the market do not contain this and this is a requirement for true CBRN protection. The Mirror Safety NBC77 gas mask filter has a rating of A2, B2, E2, K2, HG, SXP3, D, R, DIN, 58621 reactor. That's definitely a mouthful, so let's break it down to what this actually represents. The letter is the application and the number is the class based on the gas concentration. A stands for organic gases and vapors. B stands for inorganic gases and vapors like chlorine, hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen cyanide. E stands for acid gases. K is for ammonia and organic derivatives. HG is for mercury vapors. The SX is a little tricky. It filters against specific substances as specified by the manufacturer. In this case, it says CG, CK, and PS. CG is for cyanogen chloride. CK is for chloropicrin. And PS is for phosgene. P is for particles. D for dust. R is for reusable, and DIN 58621 means that the reactor was properly tested to ensure European compliance. It also features an air vent at the bottom of the mask, which is kind of a weird sensation since you feel air blowing against your neck, and it oftentimes makes me feel that the mask seal isn't proper, but it's just the air vent. One of the coolest perks of this particular mask is the integrated drinking system. It's a pre-installed drinking system and it includes an external canteen. It's not an add-on that you have to pay extra for. It's also compatible with Camelback water bladders with a Type M adapter, which is really sweet. Now you don't have to worry about taking the mask off to get a drink of water when you're in a contaminated area. It's a really nice perk. 
The CM6M gas mask itself weighs 1 pound 3.8 ounces or 560 grams. Each NATO filter weighs another 11.8 ounces or 335 grams each. So a fully loaded CM6M gas mask would weigh 2 pounds 11.7 ounces which is 1240 grams. The CM6M gas mask is helmet compatible, so you can wear a helmet or a hat while wearing this mask. It also is designed well for usage with a rifle, if that's what you're looking for, so because it has a low profile with less protrusion than the Mestel SGE403, which we reviewed earlier. Mirror Safety also has a different version, the CM7M, which is specifically designed to be used with optics if you use an AR-15 platform with an ACOG scope. While it's still better to have your actual cheat touch the stock, this mask works better than other models for getting close enough to the sights to acquire a target. I've had a lot of fun doing the field testing of this particular gas mask, but to be honest, it's kind of a joke for this particular filter and mask just because of what it's designed for. I mean, it's designed for nuclear, biological, chemical. I don't have any of that kind of lab equipment, but I had a lot of fun testing it regardless. The CM6M is resistant to mustard gas for over 28 hours, which is not supported with the Mesto SGE403 mask, which we reviewed a few months back. The Mesto SGE403 is NIOSH compliant, which is the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, but that means that it is only compliant for the exact filter that they were tested with. This is important for professional users. With this particular mask, I was testing it with the Mira Safety mask and filter, which it was all tested with, and it's a true CBRN gas mask. Now we're gonna test the mirror safety gas mask inside of a shower. So it's a nice enclosed shower that we have here at the house and I have around a dozen incense sticks that I'm gonna light and it's gonna build up a lot of smoke. I'll have the gas mask on and I'll close the door and we'll see how well I could breathe while in the shower in an enclosed area with some smoke. Another nice perk with the mirror safety mask is that you're able to speak while you're wearing the mask. The previous mask that I tested, the SGE403, it was it's very hard to hear what I was saying when I was wearing the mask. But with this one, you're definitely able to hear. It's audible. It's probably going to pick up on the camera just fine. So again, a definite perk to the mirror safety mask is being able to talk while you're wearing it. Yeah, so no problem in here. I mean, it's filled with incense. Yeah, and I bet if I took the mask off, it'd be pretty, uh, pretty gross. All right, let's see what it's like without the mask on. <coughs> ah. oh, much better with the mask on. Now we're going to have Tactical Temptress spray me with pepper spray while I'm wearing the mask and we're going to see if the filters filter out the pepper spray. As soon as she sprays me down, I'm going to go inside of the isolation chamber and hang out in there for a few minutes. Let's get started. Let's get the protective equipment on first though, right? Yeah. She's always wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> as I'm in the isolation chamber, I'm also going to attempt to add a secondary filter to the mask to simulate that like a real world event. So adding a secondary filter. They win. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy moly. I can feel that. Pretty good. <laughs> All 
All right, that seemed to work out just fine. So special thanks to Tactical Temptress for spraying me with pepper spray. My pleasure. So you could you could smell you could taste it or smell it. When... I could taste it right in the back of my throat. As soon as I took the mask off, I could hear I could got all that. But yeah. And then initially, but I, yeah. I think you will hear me go oh yeah okay. while I was spraying. <laughs> I can feel that. <laughs> cool. During an emergency situation while wearing the Mira safety gas mask, you may find yourself in a time of civil unrest where there's a lot of bad things happening, people throwing projectiles and using weapons. So for this segment, we're going to test out the visor to see how well it could withstand a blunt force impact from a bad guy such as the notorious bad guy, Bike Lock Guy. So we'll see if Bike Lock Guy could handle the Mira safety gas mask visor. So as you saw, even Bike Lock Guy was no match for the mirror safety visor. It withstood all of those blunt force impacts and Bike Lock Guy eventually just had to go home. Let's start going through the pros and cons now, starting off first with the pros. The first pro is that this is a military grade mask, which is awesome. It's been manufactured with those standards in mind and it's specified for NBC use. I also like the double filter support. So using two filters lowers the resistance and makes it easier to breathe. You could also change out one filter while the other one is still connected. I really like that this is an all-in-one system. This gas mask comes with the most features out of the box, including a Camelback compatible drinking system. There's no need to upgrade it later and buy accessories separately. This mask comes with everything that you really need, a speech diaphragm, canteen, drinking hose, and more. Again, that integrated drinking system is awesome, and it actually comes with the mask, which is really cool. This mask is built to last. The expiration date is 20 years, so it's a great long-term investment in safety. Another cool thing about the Mirror Safety Gas Mask is that it's kid-friendly. They actually have a kid's model, which I'll be reviewing at a future date. And the last pro that I have listed is the value. You actually get more mask for your money with this particular setup. The Infinity System from Mestil, which has the drinking module installed, brings the mask up to over $250. And the speech diaphragm is another $36, and it must be installed by the factory. With the Mira Safety CM6M gas mask, it's just all included with it. So again, a great value. Now let's move on to the cons. So at the end of the pros, I listed that it has a great value, but it's not exactly a cheap budget-friendly mask. It costs around $220 for this entire system. So if you have a family of four, that's quite a large purchase, but you're getting the real deal with this particular mask. It's military grade, and you kind of have to pay money for that. If you want to go with cheap, might as well get some N95 respirator masks over at Home Depot. But if you want the real deal, you should probably go with something more like the Mira Safety CM6M gas mask. Probably the main con, and the manufacturer just comes right out and states this, is that it's not officially NIOSH CBRN approved. This limits professional use in the USA as most government agencies require NIOSH CBRN approval for respiratory devices as part of OSHA standards if using the mask as part of your workplace PPE. Again, you see this mask used more internationally in Europe and other places, but it's not official for the USA, but it's still pretty good if you want to include it for your preparedness plans. The next con that I have listed is that I find the filter cap is easy to lose. I've misplaced mine already. I wish that they were magnetic and they were able to be attached to the side of the mask itself when you're not using it. I think this would help avoid losing them. And the last con that I have listed is that while it's Camelback compatible, that particular adapter is not included. So it doesn't come with the Type M adapter necessary to connect to a Camelback. And that's all I have listed for the cons. Here's a list of the type of people that I think should consider owning the Mira Safety CM6M gas mask. The number one being preppers and survivalists. It fits great in a bug out bag. Again, it's very flexible and compactable, so it's very easy to include with your bug out bag or even part of your home preps. I also think it's a great mask to consider if you are an urban prepper or you live in the city. For example, during 9-11 when the skyscrapers fell, there's asbestos clouds and things like that. Also in the city, you're prone to terrorist threats, to civil unrest, rioting, and things like that. It's also a great PPE item or personal protection equipment during wildfires. So for example, down in California, they had a lot of wildfires going on for several months over the summer and there was a lot of smoke in the air and people were looking for various respirators and gas masks to help protect their lungs. This would be a great option for that. 
It would also be a great respirator for military personnel in Europe and in the Middle East. After all, it meets European standards for respirators. And last, if you happen to live near a volcano, for example, I live fairly close to Mount St. Helens, which erupted in the early 80s, it would be a great mask to have for that kind of pyroclastic cloud and dust that would happen during a volcanic eruption. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring the Mira Safety CM6M gas mask. I provided all the information regarding this particular gas mask in the description box below. Please leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this video. And again, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. This one featured the Mira Safety CM6M gas mask. See you guys next time.